When I was young, growing up, looking at the mirror, I didn't love myself. Je m'entraîne, je m'entraîne pour moi-même, pour moi-même. Confidence is the key in everything in life because when you want to achieve something, you can have all the skills in the world. In order for the magic to happen, you need the confidence in everything that you do. And martial art taught me confidence. Je suis un artiste des arts martiaux. La perfection est inaccessible. What's remarkable about that first meeting is how unremarkable it was. No one in that room would have looked at George and said, 10 years from now, this man will be considered the greatest fighter on the planet. A great metaphor for who George St. Pierre is as a person, a guy who came from nowhere through his own study and hard work took himself from obscurity to superstardom. And from that delicate beginning came the career of one of the greatest fighters of all time. To be honest, George's first title fight where he defeated Matt Hughes, George was still in a fairly immature part of his career. Physically and tactically, he was the champion, but mentally, he wasn't there yet. Take it, pull, overhand, pull, overhand. For me, the most interesting one is not the first time George won the title, but the second. Nothing in my life has been given to me easily, 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 easily. Even when I was a kid, one of the best gift I think that my parents gave me is to teach me the, the value of hard work. George comes from a very grounded family. His, his mother and father uh, did a fantastic job of raising a strong-willed but still humble child. I believe my, um, my first loss, I lost it because of a lack of confidence. And then I win the title because after I realize that everybody's a human being, nobody's invincible. Soon after George had won the title, he got injured and took a decision which was, there's no other way to say it, it was unprofessional. He took on a challenger, Matt Serra, who was himself a very dangerous opponent in a state of physical injury and underestimated the danger of his, uh, of his opponent. And I think that my second loss in my career, I lost it, especially because of uh, too much confidence. 
I had a false feeling of security. It makes me realize that no matter how good you are and how well you're doing, you're always at one mistake to lose everything. That revealed very quickly that the young man who had won the title wasn't ready to keep the title. There is a world of difference between winning a title and keeping a title. If you think it's hard to win a title, I'll tell you right now, it's 10 times harder to keep it. I believe it's important to know where you're from, but not to be hunted by the bad souvenir. The scars show where you come from, but they don't have to dictate where you're going. Live every second in the present. You can see in George a natural curiosity, an intellectual curiosity across many subjects. It's not just martial arts. He's fascinated by everything from uh, the study of dinosaurs to ancient history, uh, foreign languages. It's when you see th that kind of general curiosity, you know someone will be a good student. After I retired, I was diagnosed with ulcer colitis. It's an uh, inflammatory of the uh, intestine. At the time, I, it was very bad. I was on severe medication. I've met uh, Dr. Jason Fong, who introduced me to fasting. So I start to implement fasting into my, my life. Then after, I um, met uh, Paul Saladino, and he opened my eyes to a new world uh, about animal-based diet, and it had a very positive effect on my ulcer colitis. If you want to make an healthy choice in your life, you have to look at history. How oh, your ancestor, when they kill an animal, they go for the, the organs. We have different tastes now, especially in the Western world, but we forgot sometimes that the organs are the most nutritious thing that we can get because it has a profound effect not only physically, but also on the brain, on our creativity, our, how sharp we are. I like to learn about the, the past, where we come from, because I always believe that life is a repeating cycle. And in martial arts, the same thing. If you're fighting someone, you look at his past fight, you'll see that he has repetitive things that he does all the time. People say that after the, uh, the, the loss to Matt Sierra, George changed his tactics and became overly conservative. It's actually not true. What he did change was his preparation for matches. And so he went 180 degrees the other way into almost overkill with preparation so that nothing got left out of the equation. Immediately, I wanted to erase my loss. I was angry at myself. I, I wanted, I never wanted to.
to be real. I wanted to erase it. But I couldn't do that. You cannot go back in the past. But I was doing the wrong thing because instead of focusing on what's next, what's to, on the present moment, I was always focusing on, oh, I'm going to beat him next time. I'm going to get my rematch. <laughs> I met a guy, he's a sport psychologist, and he says to me, he said, George, you're not focusing on the right thing. I said, yeah, but I want to have my revenge. He's like, yeah, you will have it at one point. But you need to go and focus on the present right now, because that's what matters. So he made me carry a brick, a very heavy brick. He made me write the name of Sarah on it. After a few months, I, I couldn't take it anymore. I was like, hey, I, I want to get rid of the brick. And he's, he told me, are you sure? He said, I said, yes. So he came to Montreal and we went near the Saint Laurent River and he told me to grab the brick. And he said, now I'll get rid of it. So I grabbed that brick and I threw it in the Saint Laurent River. And it makes me feel so good at the time. I had like a relief of, of pressure. And it, it's, a, it's a physical gesture that I did that had a profound impact on my mental. I, uh, I remember, it's very hard to explain, but I immediately focused on the present, on my, uh, my upcoming fight. I won the fight, I worked my way up, I had another title shot after, and I was able to, to, get, to get my revenge and, and become world champion again. Warrior is someone who works really hard to obtain what he wants. He will face many obstacles, he will hit many walls, but because he's a warrior, he's gonna go through it and at the end he's gonna succeed. I believe that people have a wrong perception of life. I believe that most of them believe that human beings that achieve extraordinary things were always successful and never failed. I failed many times, but I succeeded at the end of my career because of those failures. Those failures made me better. You can distinguish between a martial artist and a fighter. Okay, a fighter gets ready for the next fight. If there's not a fight coming up, he probably won't train. But a martial artist will train even if he'll never fight again. He sees the value in what he does as an end in itself rather than as a means to an end. When I was young growing up, looking at the mirror, I didn't love myself, but I loved who I could become. And even nowadays, I'm talking to you, I still not achieve that goal. People believe is I'm only talking about my career. I still have a lot of things that I'm working on in order to become that person. The most impressive ones are those who see their training and the art that they're studying as an end in itself and will continue their study throughout the duration of a lifetime rather than for the duration of an athletic career. 
I'm much closer now than I was when I was a kid looking at myself in the mirror. But I'm still not that idea, human being, that I want to become. Je suis un artiste des arts martiaux. La perfection est inaccessible. 